Research today that links the coronavirus to yet another lifelong medical condition. As medical reporter Liz Bonus explains, researchers are now tracking patients to see if COVID-19 can give you diabetes. Hey there, hello to you. This connection to diabetes first started showing up according to the National Institutes of Health this past summer. Researchers tracking deaths from COVID-19 reported 40% of those who died from the coronavirus had diabetes, leaving researchers to wonder if the connection to it goes both ways. So now researchers are gathering diabetes information in those diagnosed with the virus to find out more. They want to know not just why some people only seem to get mild symptoms when diagnosed with the coronavirus, Luckily for me, my symptoms were pretty light. Um, I had loss of taste, loss of smell for about three weeks. But whether or not those diagnosed with diabetes after getting the coronavirus are getting it because of the virus itself. In some cases, in those with the coronavirus, it does appear. It's more like a persistent inflammatory state where their immune system has been turned on against COVID uh, and continues to cause them symptoms even though the virus is gone. And type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Jesse Eden has lived with it since age 14. It's a constant struggle, you know. I, I mean, if you're, if you're having lows, if you're having highs, you know, it's just something that needs to constantly be watched. Type 1 diabetes requires the hormone insulin to keep blood sugar levels in normal ranges for survival. Jesse, who's one of our former Sinclair colleagues, doesn't know what caused her diabetes. But it's long been known that sometimes it does develop after a person has a serious viral illness. Jessie has not had COVID-19. She is keeping her body healthy and the baby living inside her with the help of this pump connected to a device that monitors her blood sugar levels all the time. I've been basically prepping my health for about two years now um, to be prepared for this journey. Um, I wasn't completely sure if I could even have kids safely. Since so many may be headed toward similar concerns, if, as it appears, the coronavirus causes diabetes, researchers are now tracking patients through a national database worldwide. At the King's College in London, according to Reuters, those who track metabolic diseases such as diabetes are collecting patient cases globally. Reuters reports more than 300 doctors have applied to share cases for review. More are expected as infections of COVID-19 flare up again. In addition to this global registry, the U.S. National Institutes of Health now also funding new studies to find out just how the coronavirus may cause high blood sugar levels and diabetes. Now, researchers are calling this one of the great mysteries of COVID-19. They don't know if it could give you that type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes, or perhaps even a whole new type we've never even heard about until now. Those living with this disease, however, want you to know with the right team, you can live a healthy life. Proof of that, just a few days ago, Jesse gave birth to Violet Grace. <coughs> Mom and baby now said to be healthy and at home. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.